Praise the Lord from all blessings and love. My name is Sean Henry Scott Sr. Today is our episode 25, 25 of our Daily Bread Free My Sheep series. A series that I preach and teach and share. It's about 10 minutes long while I'm sitting here in line waiting to pick up my stepson from kindergarten. So um, I was sitting here idle when I first started to have to drop him off. And I was like, this is just too much idle time. And I study all the time anyway, so I said, well, I want to share. And God gave me our daily bread, Feed My Sheep, a series. And we're up to episode number 25. <clears throat> we upload them to Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. So they get uploaded to four different places. And what I simply do in our ministry team, Jesus USA, is I'll take my Bible here and i open it up. And wherever I open up my Bible is where we share from. In the Bible days, they did what was called casting lots. They would cast lots and try and decide on who they would choose to do certain things. So if there was like four or five apostles and they wanted to know God's will concerning certain things, they would cast lots. So that's kind of like where I got that concept from just opening up the Bible and reading from where it's at. No matter what I read out of this Bible, it's for us. It's, it's a word for us. So... Uh, we just open it up and see what thus saith the Lord. Let's see what we got here. Whew. Okay, John 1 1. That's where the Bible opened up to the Gospel of John, chapter 1. So we'll read some and exhort from it. This is, <clears throat> I don't want to say easy, but it's, it's, it's a very well preached and taught book of the Bible, the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God. And the word was God. If you ever want to have any question concerning the word of God, you go to John 1, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. So before everything, it was the word of the living God. Before any kind of problems, issues, drama, black, white, green, yellow, before anything, there was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So no questions asked. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So without him was not anything made that was made. And that's kind of obvious because if in the beginning was him, and he created the heavens and the earth, so everything that was created by him according to, to the Bible, it says, and without him was not anything made that was made. <clears throat> when people say, well, I'll create this. No, you didn't. You didn't create anything. You came up with it. You didn't create it. Verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. In him was life. I know people struggle with that because we try to find life in everything else. Jobs, people, money, position credit we try and create a life that we think we should have out of everything else as humans we do we try to make everything about our life and I, i'm reminded of a time in my life where i didn't know the, the value of money as a child i didn't know what what, what a dollar could buy or two dollars would buy i mean what what two years old one years old well, however old, old i was and it's amazing how people grow to know the value of money and allow money to dictate their choices in life. You went from a person that was being completely provided for by your parents or whomever without knowing the value of one dollar. Now we have the, 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 the great masses of humanity living their motivation for things are completely about money. I, I don't know how that happens to people other than the fact they lose faith because in him was life and the life was light of men. And that's how you get your light, is that you understand who life is about. Verse 5, and light shined up in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. There's a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. The same came for a witness. <clears throat> we all know what a witness is. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. So the purpose of John was to be a witness that through him that all men might believe. We live a purpose-driven, excuse me, purpose-driven life. 
And I believe that's a huge problem in the body of Jesus Christ. And so many people have no idea what their purpose is. They don't know what they're created for. And what you need to understand is you don't want to be that fig on that fig tree that didn't produce any fruit for Jesus. Because if you return to him and you haven't done what God has called and created you to do, you're going to have some problems. Verse 9, eternal problems. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Every man, not just man, woman. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. That light, verse 9, was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. The reason why, I mean, let me give you some prophetic revelation on this that God gave me years ago concerning the light. Of, it says that, that, that the light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Then you say, well, what about the people who don't serve Jesus Christ, don't know Jesus Christ, who was born in anti uh, religions? It's irrelevant because God breathed into the nostrils of Adam, the first man, and made him a living soul. And that gave everybody enough faith or measure of faith. Everybody has a measure of faith. That gave every human being created on the face of the earth a measure of faith to recognize faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when God breathed into the nostrils, his DNA into man was for all mankind. It wasn't just for Adam. Everybody after Adam. That's why it says in verse 9, John chapter 1, that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Every man that cometh into the world. So people can receive or reject, be born again, and then that will dictate their lives. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Talking about Jesus when he walked on the earth. The world didn't know him. He came into his own, and his own received him not. The Sadducees, the Pharisees, and the scribes. They had their, they had their own form of religion, their own traditions of men. They had doctrines of devils. They, they was, Jesus called them the synagogue of Satan. He called them hypocrites because they rejected him. They should have known who he was by the word of God, which they had access to. Everybody didn't have the word of God, but in, in, a, in, a, in the synagogues, tabernacles, there was the word of God. The scroll of Isaiah was $50,000 our money. So the poor people didn't have no Bible. They didn't walk around in Bibles like we do today. So they will only know what the, what the priests and people would preach and teach to them which they had access to, the scribes, Pharisees. It says, he came into his own and his own received him not. Like I said, you either receive or reject. He came to his own, his own received him not, verse 11, verse 12. But as many as received him, hear this, but as many as received him, to them gave he power. So when you receive the fact that Jesus Christ was, is, and is to come, everything he said he was, is, and is to come, you receive power to become sons of God. That's where your power comes from. You know what I'm saying? You know, you don't see really super wealthy people's children running around the earth like they don't have somebody wealthy as a parent. You know, they you know they go in places and they recognize them as the so-and-so's child. They don't ask them for money because they can just bill them. That, but we operate in a whole uh, the supernatural uh, prophetic gifting power given us to by God, by God, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Speak those things that are not, although they are so. Uh, we have the power to cast demons and de devils back to the abyss and hell where they came from. Um, it's, lim it's unlimited, unlimited power. Everything that he overcame and everything he did, he Bible says he rose with all power. Excuse me. And it goes on to say, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Your parents had no idea you was coming. They had no idea they was going to make you. That's one of the biggest misconceptions in the body of Christ is not taught for whatever reason is that, you know, we honor our parents, but they didn't know nothing. They didn't know. They didn't know they was having, having you. They had no idea. I don't care if they was trying to have you. They didn't know it was going to be you. They didn't know which one God was going to choose out the womb, like he says in Jeremiah. God chose you. God, that's why we honor him with everything. We glorify him with everything. Well, family, that's episode 25. Everything goes according to plan. I'll be back with you tomorrow with episode 26. God bless you.